So the very first thing we do is that we create a widget. This gives us an empty form. We start by placing a push button in it and a couple of horizontal spacers to keep the button in the middle. Then we add a vertical spacer while we're at it. We'll use this one later in the layout. And now we're looking for more widgets. There are quite a few widgets to use and we start by adding a couple of line edits. Those are editing widgets letting the user edit one line at a time. Then we continue with text labels. Let's add the last one for the result. We right click and choose to change the text. And then we go to the property editor and change the name of the widgets that we plan to use from our code. One label for the result and the line edits for the two numbers. Then we go for the button and change its text and the name. Finally we make sure that the form itself has a proper name, in this case adder. Then we select the top widgets and place them in a grid layout. We take the horizontal spaces and the buttons and put them in a horizontal layout. This will put the button in the middle. And then we select the form itself and place all its contents in a vertical layout. This gives us a flexible widget which we can make really small and stretch and it'll look good in all cases. Then we save it adder.ui and there it is.